In the past few weeks, I've got many emails and YouTube comments where people are asking how they can copy and paste data into a filtered column. Now, copying and pasting data into a filtered data set is not straightforward and you cannot really do a control C, control V in this situation. So in this video, I'll show you multiple different scenarios where you have a filtered data set and you need to copy and paste data into it. So let's see how to do it the right way. Let's start with the easiest situation. So here I have this data set and I'm going to filter this data set based on the department. So let me first apply filters to it. I would go to the data tab here and then click on the filter icon. And then here I am going to uncheck all of these departments and only check marketing. So here I only have this data set that shows me marketing records and this data is filtered. Now what I want to do is copy this cell value and put it here in all these cells. And if this is the situation, then this is the straightforward easiest one because you can simply copy this, come here and paste it. And when you are pasting it, it is only going to paste this data into the visible cell. So see what happens. I copied this. I come here. I use control V and it pastes this data in all these cells. Now, any cell that is that is not visible will not be affected. If I remove the filter, you, you will see that it has only pasted this where the record was marketing, which means that where the cell was visible. So this is the easiest scenario. Now let's look at something which is a little more complicated. Here again, I have the same data set and I have filtered it using the marketing column. So only the records for marketing are visible. Now what I want to do is copy these values in this column F and put this here in the bonus column in column D. Now, if I try and do a regular control C, control V, that is not going to work. See what happens if I copy this data, I come here and I paste this data. It is not going to work for me because it pastes the data in the visible cells as well as the hidden cells. If I remove the filter and show you, you can see that I copied the continuous range from the bonus column here in column F. And when I pasted it, it pasted it as a continuous range in column D. It did not really paste it only for the marketing records. So it would not work for me. Let me control Z go back. So in this case, I have two options that I can use. The first one is I would select everything here. So all these three columns and I'm going to then fill these same values in these columns that are to the left of it. So to do that, I'm going to select all these, go to the home tab here and within editing, I'm going to go to the fill option and then click on fill left. And when I do that, it is going to fill the values in this column in all the columns that are selected on the left of it. So see what happens as soon as I click on left, this is going to fill all these values. And now I can come here and I can delete these values if I want. So this is one way of doing it. Uh, but for this, just make sure that your data that you want to copy, which is the bonus column here and this bonus column where I want to paste this data is in the same row. Another method you can use is a very simple formula where you select this cell, then enter equal to sign here and then click on this cell. So it creates a reference to this cell. And now when I hit enter, it is going to give me this result and I can simply drag this formula down and it would work perfectly because then each of these cells would refer to the cell here. The only drawback in this case is that now I have a formula here and I want to convert it into values. I cannot just copy and then paste it as values because that would not work. See what happens when I copy this and I right click, go to paste special, and then I go to paste as values. It is not going to work. It tells me that you cannot paste this here because the copy area and paste area aren't the same size. So if you want to remove the formula, you would have to remove the filter, then select this entire column and then copy and then paste as values. But if this is something that works for you, then you can either use the formula or you can use the left fill method. Now, let me show you a slightly more complicated situation where you do not have the data in the same row. Here again, I have the same data set and I have applied the filter. So you only see the records for marketing and I have the values that I want to copy in a different worksheet. So this could be in a different worksheet or it could be in a different workbook. So here I have a separate sheet and I want to copy these values and put it here in this column. Now there could be two situations in this case. In this data set, I have the names column here and I also have the same names here in the data set from which I want to copy. Now, if this is the case, then you can easily use a VLOOKUP or an XLOOKUP function to fetch the value based on the name. So that is one scenario. And the second scenario could be that you do not have any column that is common, something like this, where I just have the values and I want to copy and paste these values here in this column and I cannot use any lookup function. 
So let me show you both of these scenarios. The first one is where I have these names. So what I can do is simply use a VLOOKUP function and I'm going to use the name as the lookup criteria. Then the table array here would be this array here where I have the names and the values. Let me press F4 to lock this. Then the column number here, column index number would be two because I want to fetch the value from the second column and I want an exact match. So I would use zero. And now when I hit enter, it gives me this value here and I can drag this down. So this is fairly easy if you have a consistent name here, which can be used as a lookup value. But what if you do not have something like this? In that case, we will have to use VBA. So I have the VBA code here and let me show you what I'm trying to do. So I have this again, the same data set here and I want to get these values. But this time I have these values here in a separate worksheet or a separate workbook and I just need to do a copy paste. I cannot use a lookup function or anything. So in this case, I'm going to use a simple VBA function, VBA, uh, VBA code. So let me copy this and show you how it works. So first I'm going to go to the developer tab here and then click on visual basic. And when I do that, it opens the VB editor. You can also use the keyboard shortcut alt F11. So when you hold the alt key and press the F11 key, it will also open the same VB editor. Now here I'm going to insert a module. So I'm going to go to the insert option here in the menu and then click on module. And in this module code window, I'm going to paste my VBA code and I will give you this VBA code in the description so you can copy and use it. Now what this VBA code does essentially is instead of showing you line by line, let me quickly explain what this does in a sense is it is going to copy this data and then it is going to go cell by cell and I'm going to select a destination range, which is going to be this. So it is going to come here, copy this cell here, then go back to the destination cell and paste it here and then do it one by one. So let me run the VBA code. So I have the VBA code already in the VB editor to run the code. I would select these cells that I want to copy and paste. Then I would go to the developer tab here and then click on these macros option. And you can also use the keyboard shortcut alt F8. So when I click on this, it opens the macro dialog box and it already has the macro that I've put in the module. And now I'm going to click on run. And when I do that, it shows me this input box, which asks me, please select the destination cells. So these are the cells that have to be copied, but then I need to select the destination cell where I want these to be copied. So I would go back to my data set here and these are the cells where I want these copied. Now, as soon as I click OK, VBA is going to do its magic in the back end and it is going to put this data here. See what happens as soon as I click OK, things are happening in the back end. And now when I come back here, I can see that VBA has put this data here. And now these are static values. So these are not formulas. It has just done a simple copy paste. So if you are in a situation where there is no common column, you cannot do anything else. You can always use this VBA code. Now, remember that any changes that VBA code does are irreversible. So make sure that you always have a backup copy of your data just in case you need it. And finally, let me show you another technique that you can use if there is a possibility that you can put this data in Google Sheets, because in Google Sheets, the way copy paste works in filtered columns is different. So let me show you that as well. Here I have the same data in Google Sheets. So let me first quickly filter the data. So I would go to the data option here, then click on create a filter and then only have the marketing records show up. Now I have a separate sheet where I have this data that I want to copy and put it here in the bonus column. Now, the thing with Google Sheets is when you copy and paste data in Google Sheets, it is not going to put that data in hidden cells. It would always put it in the visible cell. So here, if I copy this data, I go to this sheet here and I paste it. It works flawlessly. It does not put it in the hidden cells like Excel does. So if you can put your data in Google Sheets for this and do a quick copy paste, then it would work perfectly for you. Now, remember that Google Sheets would only show you thousand records. So if you're working with a larger data set, you may want to go till the end in Google Sheet and add more rows in case you have a bigger data set. And once you are done with your work in Google Sheets, you can then bring this data back into Excel to do everything else that you want to do. So this is more of a workaround. But if you can work with Google Sheets, this is a really simple way that does not require you to know any formula or any VBA code. So these are some of the methods that you can use to quickly copy and paste data into filtered column in Excel while skipping the hidden cells and just paste the data in the visible ones. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Also, if you're liking these videos, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on the bell icon so that you never miss out on any new Excel tips video I come up with. Thank you and have a nice day.